welcome back to Kabido Games and it's time for the Trial of Ascension. That's right, it's that time of the month for our summons. More summons, baby. Yeah, that's right. Um, happy 8th anniversary once again to come to us. Yeah, just remember, alright, with the special, whatchamacallit, the special shop, right? Um, we would highly recommend especially the infinite coin shop just keep getting the scrolls you know what I'm saying because at the end of the day you know mana you can farm energy of course can help you farm um, the runes I don't know not so much I mean you can get those runes if you farm anyway so we're going to of course evolve our third Skogul that's right he's so much He's one of the meta units for sure. We got a couple of scrolls, and right now, once again, we have 141 scrolls coming from that infinite coin shop. Alright, we're gonna go through it right now. I don't know. We're hoping for a new unit. Still waiting for our Chong Pong. Right? Uh, Chong Pong. Chong Pong, come to daddy, yo. <laughs> And just remember, if you haven't liked or subscribed to our channel, please do like and subscribe for more content and to show support to our growing community, our GGGGG unit. Okay, now we got time for shout out. So, shout out to Kyle Fernandez, Shadow Snipes, Destroyer, MLP, Severus Alert, Marius Olar, Pocciolo Paurum. Helico, Kideiji58, Arung Yos, Wayu Aditya, we got Tyler, Mother said, Shadow Snipes, Sashi, Arnel Santelian, Sebastian Ways, and Reyes, 13TV. Oh, hey, where are we with the summons? We got 124 Mystical Scrolls. Ah, uh, so far, not so good. I mean, we started with 140 plus. It's been over like 20 scrolls already. I really like this new monster up button. We're gonna keep spamming that today. And I feel like there's a little bit of lag. Is there? Okay, yeah. I'm... A little bit of lag. I'm hoping this is good. But lag isn't so good we do want the sh water shadow caster right definitely okay there you go oh you know every time those blade dancers pop up always looks like either like an ethna or like beth right i do want ethna also ethna is a really good unit of course um We do have another summon for our altered account. Okay, let's see. Oh, is it? That's the water wind magician. Yeah, it's a little bit laggy, but I mean, if it lightnings and we skip it, it's not good to skip lightning. You see? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah! <laughs> That's right, that's a bulwark and a fire weapon master. We don't have the fire weapon master. Uh, collects weapons. Collect weapons. Okay, so his attack bar increases every time he kills an enemy. Um, good for farming, but we'll definitely get him because that's a new unit. Right? Uh, we already have two bulwarks. Um, right now, yeah, we're gonna go for the new unit. Alright, that's a good start to our summon session, ladies and gentlemen. And that was around 40 scrolls in. Let's keep at it. Uh, right now, it's still a bit laggy. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind the lag at all. As long as we get NB5s and new units. But I feel like the momentum's... You know, you're missing the momentum every time it lags. So, a bit... What do you think? At this point, I'm thinking 
Let's let it roll. Let it. No. All right. Now this is what I was talking about. The infinite coin shop, right? Make sure you claim your scrolls. And we did claim a little bit more. We're gonna keep on this. <laughs> Special summon button, baby. Uh, the fire undying. Mmm, food. <laughs> food until she's buffed, right? I mean, we can. Hopefully, you get a buff. But for now, I don't know. Food. Okay, let's keep summoning. Oh. See what I'm saying? If you skip it, right? I mean, it's not good. Not good to skip lightning. Okay, it the lightning rate still seems to be good here. Um, I think it's a bit laggy, but the rates are good. Um, I think a lot of people are. I'm not sure if it's my Wi-Fi or if it's the server, right? Okay, I think it's the Wi-Fi. But we'll keep summoning. Um, we got a lot of scrolls to summon, though. And I feel like right now we don't have that splendid blessing of summon. And with the rates that the lightning is going, I feel like we should get. Okay, see what I'm saying? If this is. A... Yeah. If it turns out to be an NV5, and we still have like. I believe we still have like three dupes. I'm saving one Camilla, one Perna, and we have more. I don't think. Oh man, yeah. So far, lightning rate is still good. Um, I feel like we don't need a second more, right? I mean, yeah, it's kind of hard building dupe NB5 defenses. I think, unless it's a Molong. I mean, I have three Molongs. Uh, the third Molong is not max skill though. But I feel like oh, more lightning. Oh man. Yeah. How many more scrolls do we have though? We got 80 to go. And there's still a good chance. So let's go get our more dupe. Get more crystals right here. Okay, just in time for another splendid blessing of summon. Okay, there goes the dupe more. We do have the water I use, so water I you more aesthetically handsome <laughs> lightning okay verde heal definitely good i mean you can use verd everywhere from farming to offense oh yeah well maybe not on defense but arena for sure right okay six eight to go yeah i must apologize if i'm a bit uh, nasal right now i do have a slight cold you know it's been here in manila it's been what sunny and raining i mean where do you even get that uh, we got a few superstitions on when that happens right but yeah uh but yeah it's sunny and rainy so more lightning let's go oh oh all right dude Oh man, I've been wanting a Poseidon. The Water Sea Emperor. Yeah, dude. One of the... Especially after his buff, right? One of the Kings of Cleave, ladies and gentlemen. And a Water Element too. Oh man, we should do this more often. <laughs> Summons. Oh man, we, and we still got 50 scrolls to go though. And... Yeah, please do... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, low bat. Okay, it's the fire hypno meow. Looks like a Snorlax. The different colors of the Snorlax. Snorlax is from uh, Pokemon, right? It's blue and white, of course. If just in case you haven't seen the Snorlax. Oh man, this one's so good. Yeah, as I was saying, right. There's still one event. You know, come to us so generous with the Nat 5 Monster Summon event. Um, we still have the... What do you call it? 
20,000 mark, 30,000 mark, and 40,000 mark to summon. Okay, more lightning. Oh, water undyed. Yeah, as I was saying, we're gonna summon the last three together. And hopefully, yeah, we're, we're still gonna get, and we're still farming, right? We can still get more mystical scrolls. So wait for that. Uh, that please do stand by for the next summon session on that one. That's gonna be really good. I'm really excited for it, and I'm really hoping for something new, right? Because, yeah, we still got a lot of devil mods, guys. I don't know. I think we got something like 19 more. Yeah. I mean, special thanks to this anniversary event. We got new units, then we used, like, I think that was like, that's going to be 9 on, um,. I think it was like 10 on the Jogun. More often than not, like per NB5, you'll need something like 9 to 10 Devil Mons on the average. Right? Unless, I don't know. Who is the most Devil Mon or who has the highest Devil Mon requirement among the NB5s? Okay, leave a comment. Let's. Yeah, just for. Okay, Lightning. Yeah, for trivia. Right? Because honestly, right now, I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure who has the highest, you know, devil mount requirement among all of them. Um, again, apologize for the cold, um, but of course, for you, our G unit, you know, cold or no cold, we're gonna do a video for you guys because we love you. <laughs> G unit, G unit. Damn, I love saying that shit. What's up, fellas? Okay, wait. Water scrolls. Come on! Artmaster. No, not Artmaster, but the one and original Hypno Meow. We're gonna save the light and dark scrolls. Yeah, it's about time we started saving again. Uh, yeah, we need to pull another light and dark and be five oh yeah yeah carcano meta for sure okay let's go yeah no more splendid blessing of summon though i mean kinky we want kinky please no well yeah well by now we definitely have a lot of those hypno those hypno meals, so that's good but we're wishing and waiting for a kinky. Kinky so good. I mean, just better than other NB5s. All right, and that's the summon session for today. We got the water, Sea Emperor, and at the same time, the fire. Where is he? The fire, Weapon Master. All right, of course, we're gonna awaken them. The Water Sea Emperor awakens into Oh Poseidon. That's right. So pretty. Okay, thank you. Come to us for the new units. Okay, but first, let's again awaken the other unit. Yeah, we do have transmogrifications for Poseidon, so please do stand by for that. And the Fire Weapon Master wakes up or awakens into. Carlos? I believe Carlos, right? Yeah, Carlos! Alright. But wait, there's more. We're gonna go and jump into a cleave guild bar. We're gonna build our Poseidon. Yeah, let's go. And here's Poseidon today. We have him transmogrified and of course Max killed. Yeah, not much HP, but we gotta build him with that speed, right? Plus 122 speed, plus 144 attack. Not the best Poseidon, but yeah, we're gonna test him out today. Max killed, of course. Despair, speed crit damage attack. Probably the way you would build a Zyros, right? Although I feel like we need more accuracy on him, because Zyros I would put in 75% accuracy. Today, currently rank number 4 in the Guild War Battlegrounds. Let's see what we can hit here. Let's go hit the highest health plus 3. 
that's a water ryu with a jump bang and a khaki and of course we got that sierra rock and cadiz let me see i'm thinking let's go test out our poseidon against this ryu khaki and chongpong right and then for the second round we're gonna bring this favorite cup of ours it's the nana theo and berna okay because yeah it's just suicide squad to the next level let's go it's a bit risky to bring in a Triana or a Tiana against a Rock because definitely he has that speed lead or the base higher base speed. But the trick here is of course the Galleon and then let's see how much damage this is going to do. It doesn't glance. Boom. Kills the Chongpong, reduces attack bars and slows the enemy. That's just so good, man. Okay, here we go. Of course, they go for the Perna. We did bring an accuracy lead, so we got defense breaks. Oh no. That's just the thing, though. Double lives. <laughs> we got defense breaks, though. We got defense breaks on. Come on, guys. Time to move. Time to move. Let's go kill the Rock. Okay, nice Valent Proc. Uh, let's finish the rock, get another life, and then work on the Cadiz, get another life, and there goes the Sierra, kills another time, we got one more life to go, can we get a stun on, uh, oh no, Nana dies, <laughs> oh man, it's so crazy, isn't it, so good, so Gucci, alright, onwards to the next battle. Yeah, let's go hit this one with the Dark Anubis, with the HP leads, alright? Yeah, we're gonna test a variation of this because again, if you're gonna use Poseidon, right? Poseidon does have the attack power lead, which is really good for him, right? And then for the second round, we got this real good team from our guildie. We got OP Brook. It's that Orion with the uh, Heisberg. And the light Chun Li. The trick here is, of course, we get the first turn. So, wind of changes. Okay, and then we got Galleon with the time to loot. Attack power lead. Oh, come on, mine. That's the thing with this combo, I guess. I mean, it's the Galleon. I mean, 100% <laughs> accuracy. Oh no, everybody resisted. Even the. That's the thing with Poseidon, I guess. I was warned. Yeah, our guildies did warn us. Like, they were saying, uh, yeah, the thing with Poseidon is good. But then, of course, again, accuracy and resistance play is always RNG. So, again, that's not 100%. But let's go with Gemini. Oh no. Resentment. Speed up. Attack power buff. Let's go, truly. Okay, nice one. Spinning bird kick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So good. Yeah. OP. Okay, next up, we got this Sierra with the Gianna and the Savannah. So without Poseidon, we're gonna go turn to Zyros. And then for the second team, we're gonna go Odin it. Yeah, Odin with the water bear. But first, they can go. Oh, but the, look at the attack bars though. I think this is a very fast savanna. Possibly a swift savanna, cause... I don't know. Oh yeah, he, yeah, she is. Oh, okay, good thing she missed the attack bar reduction on our Zyros though. So again, accuracy and resistance play. It's good to see it's going back and forth, not just one way. But we are in danger here. Oh yeah, nice one. That's a crit damage Tiana, by the way. <laughs> okay, now, this guy is just really good. You know, especially against Molong's 
you just play elemental it's like the elemental play right being in in the gora with two wind monsters against this crazy molong now we just need to give more buffs to our odin here and i really want to kill this tianlong first because i don't know for some reason when there's a tianlong there's just so many procs you know i said oh nice kill from the war bear <laughs> Yeah, because remember, Spirit's Will does allow him to counterattack with a 50% chance. And now without that Tianlong, right? The Gora can just tank Mo Long all day, all day, every day. And then all the while, we do have a crit rate lead for our Odin here. We got Riley with the sustains. We just need to keep, you know, keep waiting for more buffs for our Odin, and it's pretty Gucci. Oh man, but Poseidon though, yeah, not 100%, but that's a 45%, it's like I guess 50-50. Um, yeah, so again, same as Zyros. Our Zyros, we have like at least 75 plus accuracy, right? And I guess we need to improve the accuracy on, um, what I call it, on Poseidon 2. Um, although we do have a lot of um, skill, I believe we have skill 3 accuracy on him. Right? Yeah. But there's his debut. Died on the debut, but yeah, pretty good. Look at this Molong. Without Molly, no more heals. Even I think the Gora can one versus one this Molong. Ooh, nice finish from our Odin there. And that's the last battle of this OP Guild War. Alright. Um Yeah, here's our defense. Okay, you wanted to see it. It's pretty good. Um, here's the galleon that we were using. You see that? A hundred percent accuracy. And it still misses. With additional accuracy on skill 3, by the way. <laughs> so much for that accuracy. Does it go back to zero, though? I don't know. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to like. Share and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching. Happy weekend ahead. May the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.